have guys at the games uh, throughout. It'll Fans are coming back soon, and that's going to be kind of interesting here because that experience is going to change a little bit, which is great. Um, so we're looking forward to more. And lo and behold, who saw this coming? Oh, Jimmy man. Luciano could not. What a surprise. <laughs> Kid, I'm putting you back in your perch. Top right. There you go. Gritted it out. Had a coffee. Wait, let's yeah, let's he did what he needed to do. All right. That's, that's game, game, like winners. game winners will bring Jimmy back. I, I like it. Jimmy, I got to with a coffee. Come on. With about, but, with about three minutes left, there was no chance I was coming on the show. But the way it ended, I, I, I couldn't I couldn't not stay away. I had to just pop on at least. And, you know, this is the type of win that, you know, Celtics fans have been clamoring for since 2020. So, uh, it's been a game that I could do. <laughs> you, know, you, know that, you know what that means, guys. It's that, been a that, long that means- wait. That means before the three minute mark, Jimmy was throwing stuff at his TV. That's what that means. Well, this was close. This was close to it. being the kill Tatum game, right? Because he came out right. and scored, you yeah, know, yeah. early, and it was like, okay, good. You need this with Jalen out, right? And then he just disappeared, you know. While Beal Beal goes off, all of a sudden Beal's at forty four points, and Tatum stuck at twenty three, and he hadn't moved, and he hadn't yeah. done anything in a while, and the shooting percentage was going down, and I was like, okay, this was. The, Tatum's 8 of 18 with 23 points, and Beal's doubled them up right now, and they're heading towards a loss. This was another embarrassing performance this in front of this boy until he turned it around there. You know what? Uh, as stunned as I am, I mean, did you, I'm sure you guys talked about the final the final play. No reaction from Tatum there. What, what was he so pissed off about? I mean, that, that layup with the foul to take the lead with four seconds left, I mean – it's okay to smile. It's okay to. I know. I know we haven't had that many reasons to be happy, but damn, was that was that? The well, they had to get back to... and get a stop. I was surprised they got the stop on the other end the way Beal had been scoring. Yeah, I mean, doesn't that's exactly the, what you want to see from Tatum. I mean, this guy, I saw before the game, no one's played more minutes in February than Tatum. So he is gassed. He is winded. This All Star break could not come soon enough, and I know it's not really a break because he's going to Atlanta, but it'll certainly be nice for him to get some time off. But well deserved. I mean. That is the closer, Jason Jason Tatum, that we've seen rarely this season, but we've seen bits and pieces of oh, the what? way he fin- the way he took control and took over the game. That is the mark of a superstar number one player, and we've all we've all been asking over the last few weeks, do the Celtics have one of those guys? I know a lot of people have been starting to wonder if they just have two like two Robins instead of a Batman. And I'm not going to just say because of this game that all of a sudden Jason Tatum's you know bona fide superstar, but these are the types of performances down the stretch, coming back, you know, um, you know, putting the team sort of on your back in a way and, and taking over. That's what you look for, and, and you hope to see more and more of that to come. But, Jimmy, I mean, obviously, good good sign. Jimmy, though, yeah. look, look, look at what we got in the banner there. We'll never know how many assists he got, but turnovers <laughs> that they make the John Banner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Well, that was another reason why I wasn't coming. I was like, I don't know if I can sit through another show of John just bashing – uh, Tatum from start to finish. <laughs> How many uh, assists reason, did he have? The reason gone? assists don't make it in it because assists are not relevant. He had three of them tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. Four, four turnovers is high. Three assists is unremarkable. So you pick the stats yeah. to tell a story. That's true. Okay, that's, true. that's how you. That's how the game is we played. Didn't, we didn't. We didn't get the uh, two point two point field goal stat only. We didn't get that one today. So that's no. Good. So you, you can make a good point, John. I know what we would have been talking about if that Tatum performance went the way it was looking for a little bit. We would have been talking about him pregame saying, oh, am I going to do the three-point shootout? Yeah. Am I going to do the skills competition? And he's been I in did. such a slide. Yeah. You know, people weren't going to love hearing that. But he dug deep for this dunk? one, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> like that got it going. I, I didn't love that heavy throw up at the end of the first. But the more I watch him and the more we get frustrated with the shot selection and all this stuff, when I see a play like down the stretch, him spinning away from Beal into that fadeaway dish, like nothing but net, absolute splash. I mean, there's a poetry to this guy's game that you don't see a lot around the league. Like it, it just, it occasionally gets beautiful. It really does. And there's not many guys left who dance around the mid range, you know, do some of those things with fadeaways. And, you know, I, I don't want to say Kobe Bryant esque, but there's not many guys left with that fluidity and that motion to their game it's a lot of pull-up threes that kind of stuff and tonight we don't see it consistently enough yet but tonight you do see that with Tatum like this was a special performance from him well we were talking Bobby and and guys jump in here because I mean Josue you were out there in LA last year during that big kind of you know the 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 game where he went off you know and it's kind of like that massive (laughs) moment and around this time last year heading into you know this period you know pre-shutdown 
I mean, he's he is all of that stuff you're talking about. He was doing with regularity, and we were talking about it that we haven't seen the same guy since the shutdown at all, and that's in the bubble and the first 30 games this year. Granted, he missed some with COVID, but that you know, I'm going to do anything I want to do and make every shot right in your face and just break your spirit and demoralize you. You know, I mean, it's asking a lot for a guy to constantly make ridiculously difficult shots, but that's what he was doing. And when you do that, you're literally just ripping people's soul out. I mean, that's what, that's why these guys, these killers, Lillard, Curry, and these guys, they're, they're pulling up from 40 feet. You're like, what am I supposed to do to defend these guys? Tatum had that mojo going last year where it was like, why do I bother guarding him? He's just going to hit all of it. And I don't know if, you, you know, the, the problem is you fall in love with that a little bit. They start to not fall. All of a sudden, you're a guy who's taken bad shots. It just feels like he hasn't been there. So, you know, I like tonight. I like what he did late. I like the closing stuff. And, you know, it is a like, it, as you said, it's a glimpse. It's not all the way, but it's right. a glimpse of the stuff that you want to see him do on a regular basis that it felt like he was doing. I mean, he was, it felt like he was automatic 40 at this point last year. Well, like we yeah, said no, last no question, yeah. and that was that was before and after the All Star break, right, John? Yes, like that was you heading know, in before, and right after. Yeah, and once it was official, like I I remember mentioning this on the guard report, like it was like a different approach before the games. He was like saying, you know, talking to the media a little more, more friendly, big smiles, like the way he carried himself. So yeah, I think look, the the last couple of months, I I've, I've noticed the Tatum trying to get back to being that guy, and obviously doing it in a way that we were questioning him, and that was me especially the last couple of games, thinking, look, you have to do what's best for this team. What Mike Gorman said, you know, I, I tend to agree with that. You know, you know, maybe that he doesn't go out there and, and doesn't make his teammates better, but I don't think he was necessarily trying to put an emphasis on that. And now he's doing a little bit of both. He wants to be that killer that the Celtics need him to be in the fourth quarter. And obviously when you saw those games where he, you know, it took him uh, over 20 shots or well over 20 shots to get to 20 points and the percentage wasn't great and he's jacking up these tough threes, but when they go in, they're, it's devastating. Like you said, like those are the shots that can really demoralize a team. Of course, Bradley Bill had plenty to say on the other end in this one, in this particular case, but that doesn't always happen. You don't always have a Stone Cold Killer on the other end. And of course, even when they did have a Stone Cold Killer in, in Bradley Bill, Jason Tatum did his thing, was able to close his thing out. But again, he needed help. Daniel Tice hit four straight you know, jump shots that the Wizards were wanting him to take, and he made all four of them. That's a big play. You know, uh, That's what superstars do. Say this, we talked about this briefly in the last episode because we were we were pretty critical of Tatum, deservedly so. It it looked it looked like then that when Joe Sway, we, we talked about how the how his like his wind up to the shot is almost like so predictable. It's like you know when he's about to take the shot and defenders can sort of No, Tatum, sorry. Oh Tatum, oh when he's dribbling, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like I don't, I don't again, I don't know if that's just him being tired or what, but we've we've been seeing him almost be like a step slow, not just you know, moving up and down the court, but with the shot. And he's been sort of relying on his length to shoot over over players, not necessarily, um, you know, his quickness to, you know, get that separation. So it was good for me, at least, to see him, you know, drive a little bit, and especially on that last possession, uh, instead of relying on, like, the turnaround fadeaway jumper that he doesn't seem to get good, you know, a good good looks on. I mean, I don't think he's been hitting that shot um, with at a very good clips, specific, you know, especially since – coming back from COVID. So, I mean, that, those are kind of things you need to do to get going is to, you know, get that contact, drive to the rim, like kind of like how we see Kemba do. Another guy who I thought, you know, another solid performance from Kemba tonight too. Mike so, and Scott um, are still looking for that foul. <laughs> yeah. Yo, didn't hear it. <laughs> he, he didn't let it go either. Like, it was just like – Two straight minutes, they're like, and, and we're getting a free throw. And I'm like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Jimmy too. <laughs> I did like a triple take. I'm like, about so much. Yeah. like, I missed that. Like, I don't see them lining up. Like, what are you talking no, about? No, no. Plus, plus, the play, right? Right right before the timeout, I'm staring at the referee. No one called a foul. I'm like, what is Scal talking about? Yeah. <laughs> but how about the play before when he falls out of bounds? They go to a replay there. I mean, that didn't need to be a replay at all. And that's that's what we were talking about with the Pelicans game last Sunday. Just the pacing in that spot completely screwed up. And you know what? That probably helped the Celtics. They got it. A whole timeout out of that replay set something up. It took Tatum a long time to get that inbounds pass in, but they had a nice motion there to get into Pritchard and work it out to Tatum on that right wing. And uh, it, it was just the kind of execution we haven't seen from this team in a long time down the stretch. There, that's really all there is to it. A few stops. Defense wasn't great tonight, but offensively is what they're looking for improvement wise right now. So you'll take all of that. 
Thank you.